Hi, my name is Philippe and I am a chemical engineering student. This video is for the MATLAB and Simulink hardware challenge. My project consists in building a low-cost spectrophotometer of visible light using Arduino and MATLAB. In a chemistry lab, all the time we need to know the concentration of chemical species in solution. And for that, there are some classic analytic methods. However, these methods consume a large amount of compounds, the analytic time is extremely large, and they also generate harmful waste to the environment. Fortunately, all these problems can be solved by a device called spectrophotometer. A spectrophotometer is a device that analyzes the concentration of a chemical solution by absorption of light in a specific wavelength. It took two steps for me to build this one here, which were setting up a monochromator that separates the white light in a rainbow and selects a single light beam. This was done by controlling a servo motor that spins a mirror prism. Setting up a light sensor that converts intensity of light in analog signal. This was done with an optical transistor. In MATLAB, I programmed an interface that controls the Arduino. This interface helps the user to make the analysis of a graphic excluding solvent data and showing the electromagnetic spectrum absorbance of a given chemical substance. With this interface, as well as with the outcome graphic, the user can see the peak of absorbance and make the analysis of concentration on the right wavelength. This device is very important in a chemistry lab and the great full advantage of building a spectrophotometer using MATLAB and Arduino is that you never more be stuck and limited on that functionalities of the equipment purchased on the store. You can customize it according to your needs and is totally open source. Besides, a device like this allows a chemistry to save the time that we spend on the classic analytic methods, save the money one would have to invest in a conventional spectrophotometer, spare the environment from the potential hazards of compounds used on traditional analysis. All that in a handy, easy to operate, accurate and low cost hardware. Thanks to MATLAB and Arduino, we can build it at home.